Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to look at a really important concept in flow which is error handling. So a lot of times we get an error if something goes wrong in the flow. So in my case let's start with what the issue is. So I currently have a validation rule on my opportunity to throw a validation anytime the amount is greater than 50,000 and the account dot type is customer direct. So that's the very simple validation rule that I have an opportunity object. Now I have a flow um, which is using which is clone opportunity I have a video on how to create that flow so I'm not going to get into that but basically I'm trying to click on that clone opportunity add a close date here and I'll get this very cryptic error message and if I'm an end user I have no idea what went wrong and all I'm seeing is this unhealth unhandled fault has occurred in this flow so what if there was a better way to handle that what if we could tell the user hey you have something wrong with your amount field. Um, go fix that, then you know you can get rid of that error. So that's what we're going to look at. And by the way, um, another way to handle that would be directly putting um, that error message using this um, input validate input um, right here. But that's not always possible. So in my case, I already have the validation rule and. For whatever reason it's not possible to add that maybe the validation rule is pretty complex which you can't always handle it here so so many times you might need the validation rule and that's when we will be using this um, approach so how to do that so basically I have a create records so after the screen I'm creating the opportunity records okay so when the opportunity record is creating the it will throw an error if it finds any error so what happens if there is a success message if there is a success it's doing it's redirecting them to that newly created opportunity but if there is an error we can actually combine a, a path here called fault so if you do this if you connect this create records to a different screen you'll get this fault red line this doesn't mean that your flow is wrong uh, it just means that what happens if the creation of records failed so that's where you connect this now what I'm doing here is I'm creating a screen element and what I'm doing is just adding a message here. There is something wrong, please check. And you don't even need to type this. So let's say I'm gonna remove this because I don't know what went wrong. Maybe there are multiple um, values or multiple error messages that I might get. So I'm just gonna say there is something wrong and here's where you can insert a resource and then you can say flow you go to flow global variable and this is where you'll see uh, different things um, fault message is one of them so this is the fault message that you see in your email when you if you have looked at a flow, flow error email and then I can also make that nice and red and I'm gonna hit done and save it okay um, so and then I'm gonna activate that just to show you Let's go back to the opportunity and try this again. Let's refresh the screen. And you can also just use the debug button. Um, you don't always have to activate it to test it out. Um, so I'm just gonna say clone up again. All the conditions are same. I'm seeing the amount is greater than 60, uh, 50,000. Hit next. And now I'm seeing, oh, Real custom validation exception. You cannot create an opportunity of more than 50,000 or customer direct. Now, this message is still not awesome. Um, it's not just the validation message, but it is better than seeing unha unhandled fault. So that's why I like this a lot better because it at least tells them what went wrong. And I can now say, okay, let's go back and I'm going to change the opportunity amount to, let's say, 20,000. Hit next and that should bypass that error message and land me to the new opportunity that just got created. And I recently found this out and I was just amazed on how often I should have used the fault message. So I wanted to share this in case you have issues like that and you are seeing this, uh, your users are seeing this cryptic error message. So definitely try this out. And one thing to note is it always, you'll only see this uh, option if it is a create or update records. So if I try to say, okay, let me try to connect this one to something else, you just simply won't have an option. But in this case, since it was a create record, you will have that extra line that you can connect to. 
So it's only for uh, DML elements. So anywhere you can manipulate data, um, that's where you can connect this, something to keep in mind. Um, and that's all for today. Definitely let me know if you have any questions or if, you wanna, if this helped you as well. I really like uh, listening to your feedback. So thank you so much for watching.